Hi, this is Jenna, Mayuho, and Delisa. Um, we are grade 8 students attending Dwight School Soul. Um, the piece we created together was the eye. Jenna and I also created flower of purity and a spark of hope. I also personally created the dance of spring. The natural materials we used were branches, flowers, pebbles, and other man-made materials. From this experience, we have learned to use the resources around us and explore our imagination. All the pieces symbolize various things. We hope you enjoy. My name is Dylan Choi, and this my piece is called The Floating Flower. Uh, I decided to make this piece because I thought uh, the greats conveyed movement, and I wanted to make an artwork that also showed movement. This next piece is called The Earth and I, and I collaborated with Louis Kruger to create it. Um, we dug a hole, and we thought it looked like an eye, so we outlined it with sticks and added the inside with stones. Hello, my name is Nina. The title of this picture is Boeing. As you can see, there, most of the rocks are together right there, and one rock is alone right there, so you can see how rocks are bullying one rock. And the materials that I used for is flower, fruit, rocks, grass. Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm, I'm in 8th grade. This piece is called Green Car and I saw a patch of weeds so I, just, I thought of a wheel and I made it into a car with branches and rocks with my partner Alyssa. Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm an 8th grade student and the name of my artwork is uh, Rest in Peace. I decided to call it Rest in Peace because my, uh, like, my intention was to create a feeling of a peaceful garden or like a sort of some sort of a grave where someone rests. Yeah. Hi, my name is Yo. I'm in a grade. This piece is called Trapped Nature because this is looks like middle flowers trapped by around the product and I use flowers and rocks and rubbish. Hello, my name is Sean Kim and I'm in 8th grade and th this artwork is called um, Arrangement of Life and the reason why I chose it is because I wanted to use uh, um, objects in nature such as leaves to create an artwork and this design is um, what I just thought about when I went to the park and this artwork is um, called uh, uh, Pieces Nature and what it means is um, I uh, I was, what I used, to, I found dandelions in the park and I used it to um, create a word piece and in, what it means is uh, I was trying to, um, trying to express um, how the state of mind of the dandelions which is peace. Hello, my name is Jason and this artwork is called pollution because a lot of people are throwing trashes into nature so this this artwork shows that the trash is becoming the part of nature. Hello, my name is Pablo. I'm in eighth grade, and this piece is called the Orange Peel Wall. And I made this out of dirt and sticks and orange and an orange peel and cardboard and paper. I printed out a lot of pictures of the of the thing of the actual land art thing and I cut them so, so that it would look like this. Hello, our uh, name is Brian Cody and we're 8th grade students and these are the artworks for the response of the land art project. So this uh, this piece of art is called a drop of sunshine, and yeah.
The reason why we quoted the drop of sunshine is because um, the colors are yellow and there's like a bright uh, white of dandelion at the top. And we like this piece because of the use of different textures. So this piece of uh, artwork is called a lion's trail. And the reason why it's called lion's trail is like the flower we use is called dandelions and it's like a lion. Oh. And what we like about it is that it has a lot of different colors. Uh, this, this artwork is called As Time Goes On. And, it, and the reason why we quoted that was because it shows the progression of a dandelion's life. Or so. Hello, I'm an 8th grade student. My name is Louis Kruger. This is my art piece. It's called Life's Ladder. I called it this because when I made it, it looked like the dandelions are climbing up a ladder and made of life. Hello, my name is Jun Chan. I'm an 8th grade student. I made a temporary sculpture and photographed it from many different angles to make this. Hello, my name is Dawon Park, and for my temporary art, I made this artwork called Reflection of Itself. It is implicating that it is showing the desire of nature, reflecting of itself in another universe. The materials I used are some few pebbles and stack of leaves and a, un, and a dandelion. Now this has various intentions inside because as we see in the pile of rocks, it shows various dust with various darkness. But it implies that there is a flower impl implicating that in any region that in various darkness and various dustiness, beauty can be expressed. And in the old 